Hi there, Bruce the Water Guy here. Uh, today I'd like to talk about solids. Uh, in the treatment of the wastewater, we generate solids as a byproduct. Now there are some solids in the water from us using and abusing the water, but uh, through the treatment process, utilizing the microbiology itself to remove the nutrients, this does generate new growth and generates more uh, solids for us to deal with. Let's take a closer look at some of the different treatment processes we utilize to treat and remove the solids from the system. Solids are removed from the aeration basin that I was just standing in front of, and they're fed into this, a rotary drum thickener. The solids are fed into the clock tank when mixed with polymer, coagulate, and form large particles. As the liquid solid separation happens, this drum with a screen rotates with a screw shape inside the center, allowing the water to filter through the screen, retaining the particles to discharge at the end. The product exiting the rotary drum thickener is nearly 5% solids. The solids are then fed into an anaerobic digester system uh, where it is kept at 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which helps the microorganisms in this system to reduce the amount of solids by about 50%. They do this by turning the solids into carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. The liquid from the primary digester then flows over to this secondary digester, uh, which is a million gallon tank. This tank also has some thickening happening as the solids settle down to the bottom and the supernatant water exits the tank back into the treatment process. Uh, this is where we also collect the methane gas uh, that is generated in two half million gallon primary digesters. It is then sent over to an energy recovery facility, uh, which is then mixed with landfill gas, uh, which is utilized to generate electricity and the excess heat is pulled off in a hot water system, which heats the entire treatment plant here and also helps to maintain the two half million gallon primary digesters at the required 98 degrees. The liquid from the secondary digester is again thickened, fed with more polymer, coagulating and thickening the material. It travels across a belt filter press, trying to draw the water off as the solids exit the initial dewatering phase. They are pressed and go through a series of belts to where the final product exits the belt at nearly 18% dry product. The pressed cake material travels across a conveyor system, dropping onto another conveyor where it is dumped into a six yard box that will ultimately go to the landfill. Now these press cake solids are about 18% dry product and uh, these ones are going to the landfill where they'll be put into one of the cells uh, that aids in the degradation of the trash material and helps produce more methane gas which is then captured to produce more energy. Well thank you for watching and taking a closer look at the process on how we handle solids here at the wastewater treatment plant and try to uh, have some beneficial reuse of the products that we generate. This is Bruce the Water Guy. Have a nice day.